What is the major product in this reaction? Well, let's look at our reagents. We have our halide and we are reacting with the alcohol and a double bond over here. Probably the most common reaction that we are going to think about in this case is going to be a halogenation of our double bond. Which means that I'm going to grab my bromine, perform the electrophilic attack on the double bond, making the corresponding halonium ion, and of course we're going to have Br- floating around. So next thing that's going to happen here, we're going to open our halonium ion with the nucleophile. But here is the kicker. Instead of bromine coming in and opening our halonium ion like so, we're not going to see that. What we are going to see is the oxygen coming in and opening our halonium ion. Remember the intramolecular processes, which are the reactions within the molecule itself, are typically preferred to intermolecular processes, which would be reactions between different molecules. So instead of making a dihalide, we are going to make one, two, three, four, five membered ring with the oxygen, looking like this, where my atom one is my oxygen, then I have two, three, four, and five. And now the Br- is going to come in, pull the proton off, giving us the final product looking like this. So instead of the halogenation reaction, we ended up with alkoxyhalogenation reaction.